Drew, and uh, yeah, thanks to uh, everyone else for, for attending tonight. Well, I'm a bit of an outsider when it comes to tonight's forum. I've never held elected office. I've never worked for a party or a minister. I've never worked for an organisation affiliated with or supported, supportive of a party. Outside my volunteer role as a candidate, I work as an engineer in the transport industry and have done so for about 20 years in both the private and the public sector. I've lived most of my life in the eastern suburbs and grew up in the local area. So both as a practitioner and a user, I know firsthand the importance of having an accessible, reliable, multimodal transport system that supports the trips that people want to take. I'm proud to I am proud to stand here tonight to represent the Andrews Labor government because as a passionate advocate for better transport infrastructure, no government has invested more in transport infrastructure. Since 2014, the Labor government has invested billions in, in, in transport infrastructure across the state and is delivering the key metropolitan projects to address the needs of our growing city. This investment has led to record jobs growth with 370,000 jobs created in Victoria since November 2014. Tonight, I'd like to first touch on three metropolitan projects that will help our community here in the east travel to the places they want to get to in the future. Melbourne Metro, North East Link, and the Suburban Railway. Melbourne Metro will be the biggest overhaul of our public transport system since the construction of the city loop. Melbourne Metro is not just about providing access from the southeast to the northwest suburbs. For residents in this area, travelling for work or study, from Melbourne University to St Kilda Road or the hospital precinct in Parkville, it will save up to 10 minutes compared to current journey times. This will make your commute easier and more convenient, meaning better access to more jobs, more time with families and more productivity. We also know that not everyone regularly travels to the CBD or inner suburbs. There are many people, like myself, who work or study in the northern and northwest the North Eastland project will complete the Hall Road and will provide an additional crossing of the Yarra, making travel easier. The North East Link will also provide major improvements to the Eastern Freeway, will construct Melbourne's very first high-speed dedicated busway and upgrades to cycling and walking paths. This, this project will provide better access and mean less time spent in traffic. Now, some of you may have seen the, uh, the AIDS website yesterday and uh, I know I might have looked a little bit serious on, on that standing next to the Premier, but inside I was just so excited uh, to, to be with him when he announced the plan for a suburban railway. The largest transformation of public transport in Australian history. The suburban rail loop is a city shaping project that will change the way that we see our city and the way that we get around. Up to now, Successive governments have focused on CBD-centric public transport infrastructure, but as the number and proportion of jobs in suburban centres grow, we must provide the transport infrastructure that will support this growth. The underground suburban rail loop will connect 10 rail lines over 90 kilometres from Cheltenham to Werribee with 12 underground stations. It will take 200,000 cars off major roads and create 20,000 local jobs. For residents living along the Belgrave and Lilydale line, this means single transfer connections to Deakin Uni and Monash Uni, and in the future, Heidelberg, the Trobe Uni, and Melbourne Airport, without having to travel through the CDD. Yes, it will be an expensive project, and it will take many years to complete, but the cost of inaction will be far greater. And a re-elected Labor government will invest $300 million in a full business case, design and pre-construction work with work on the first section between Box Hill and Cheltenham expected to begin by the end of 2022. At a local level, the Andrews Labor Government is also getting on with the job of delivering the projects that matter to this community. The level crossing of, at Blackburn Road and Blackburn has been removed in this term of government, with the rail line now lowered under Blackburn Road. With the removal of the Heatherdale Road level crossing, there are now no road level crossings off the line between Box Hill and Hill. With the boom gates down approximately 38% of the time during peak period prior to the removal, the level, crossing, the level crossing at Blackburn Road was a major contributor to congestion. The removal of this crossing means more time and less cost to residents accessing the shops, the station, or just passing through. In relation to the Box Hill interchange, 
Labor made a commitment in 2014 that if elected, it would establish a ministerial advisory group to provide options for the minister to improve the interchange. Again, Labor has delivered on its commitment and the group's report was presented to the minister in 2017. This work has now progressed to the establishment of a steering committee which will work towards a business case of the redevelopment together with local representatives. Now while this, picture, this business case will focus on big picture strategic changes that need to occur at the interchange, Labor has already got on and delivered a range of upgrades to the interchange. <coughs> These include adding the Route 201 bus service, a direct link for students and locals between Box Hill and Deakin University. Other upgrades include improving passenger safety in the, in the interchange, installing better ramps and signage for increased accessibility, <coughs> fixing the roof and downpipes, and expanding the presence of staff and security. These improvements are making a real difference to the thousands of users who pass through this interchange every day. And I will continue to push and be a strong advocate for, up, for upgrades to the Box Hill interchange. The Box Hill interchange has changed uh, little since the days I used to I used to interchange there to get to school. And this one might look that longer ago than you might think. Although Robert, you were still there. Um, obviously. Given other commercial arrangements though, this is not something on which the state can go in a line. And I will work with residents, local businesses, the lessee, council and other users of the transport hub to upgrade the interchange into a modern facility that meets its future needs. As I said at the outset, I'm the outsider in this debate and the campaign. But I'm coming in to make a real difference for our community and make it easier for you access jobs and get around. I will also continue to fight for the transport improvements within the electorate that matter to you, be they further level crossing removals, better walking and cycling networks or upgrades to local bus services. And this is why I'm calling on you, on you to vote for me at the upcoming state election. Labor has demonstrated its ability to deliver on the major transport infrastructure projects that our city needs. A re-elected Labor government will continue to get things done and will deliver the infrastructure for our future. Thank you.